Hi, this is Alex again and uh, Foundations of Yoga series. Today I would like to introduce uh, one important concept. Uh, it is uh, the concept of the central channel, uh, also known as uh, Sushumna Nadi. And uh, it is experienced as a ray of light or a column of light or maybe mm, an energy pathway that uh, goes through the uh, central line of the body uh, from top uh, to the perineum and uh, it is associated with uh, uh, the subtlest energy we could call it uh, psychic energy or maybe energy of awareness uh, that uh, that uh, goes through uh, personality and uh, when there is awareness of uh, the essence of what we are uh, then uh, this energy pathway is active and uh, we can actually feel it we can experience it uh, and, and we're gonna try uh, to do it today just to, to make a first step uh, to be become aware of uh, this central energy channel so when there is no awareness then uh, we could say it's blocked and uh, uh, we can't really feel it or, or experience it and uh, a lot of a lot of practices uh, in yoga were designed uh, with uh, the purpose of activating this uh, energy pathway like uh, pranayama mudra uh, mudra bandha and uh, direct energy or prana into this energy pathway and uh, activating it uh, we can uh, again realize this connection with the, with the true self. So I I I see it as kind of uh, uh, kind of a wire uh, that connects uh, that connects us to to the essence of what we are. So when it's uh, not broken, yeah, when it's uh, uh, activated. So then we we are connected. So there is realization, there is awareness. Uh, when it is uh, cut somewhere, and this happens because of uh, false identity mainly, uh, then uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, attachments. Yeah, we are uh, attracted by something uh, illusory, or we are resisting something illusory. So, uh, following this uh, false identity, we start having uh, attachments that create a lot of uh, different emotions and uh, stress and uh, all those kinds of sufferings that we have, like doubts, regrets, uh, conflicts, uh, anxiety, fear, all those things. Yeah, well, they, they appear when this uh, uh, connection uh, is broken. So a lot of, again, a lot of practices uh, were designed in order to restore this connection. And uh, then you can clearly feel it, feel this, uh, feel this column of light, uh, feel this energy pathway uh, going through your body. So, uh, we can uh, now do this uh, simple exercise, yeah, just uh, doing a special breath work and visualization, just to try to feel it, okay? Uh, and then uh, I'll maybe say a few more things about it. Please sit comfortably, you can be sitting cross-legged or you can uh, sit on a chair if you like, just make sure you're feet are uh, on the ground so you have uh, 
steadiness. Uh, you can also lean on the wall if you like. Uh, have some support for your hips. And uh, make sure you're comfortable, your uh, back, neck and head aligned. And close your eyes. Feel connection to the surface. Bring your awareness to your body. Scan it. Release the tension. Relax the forehead, the eyebrows, eyes, lips, the area behind your ears. Relax the jaw. Relax the neck, shoulders, both of your arms, Relax your back and your chest. The lower back. Relax the belly. Let it breathe. Feel how it is filled with air with every inhalation. Inhale deep into your low belly and into your low back. Make your breath a little bit longer and a little bit deeper. And try to achieve it through relaxation. Don't force yourself.
You don't want to create tension. Everything should be relaxed. Elongate your spine a little bit. And now imagine this ray of light going through the center line of your body. From the crown of the head down to the pelvic floor. It's going along your spine. A little bit more inside the body. And now start directing your breath through this central line, through this central channel. When you inhale, imagine that you are inhaling into this channel and your energy is moving down along this channel. And when you exhale, it moves up again along this channel. If you struggle with visualizing this column of light, you can just move your attention along the spine. So when you inhale, move your attention along your spine downwards. When you exhale, move your attention upwards, also along your spine.
Now try to visualize it again. Try to feel it. You might feel it stronger and easier in some parts of the body and maybe have less sensitivity in other parts, that's okay. Stay relaxed and focused. Visualize it, feel it and direct your breath through this pathway. Downwards on inhalation and upwards on exhalation. And now release your focus, just open up your awareness to everything. Breathe naturally. Just feel the effect, how you changed, uh, your state changed. Slowly open your eyes and also sit a minute with this. Experience, see what you feel. Usually, this practice makes you feel more centered, more focused, and uh, more connected to deeper layers of yourself. Also, uh, ancient yogis discovered that on the same line, some major energy centers are located that are uh, called chakras. And uh, uh, also through work with chakras, uh, they were also able to uh, activate this pathway and to make energy flow through this pathway. So uh, many, many practices yeah, were done uh, with this purpose. Uh, so we would do pranayama, 
Banda Mudra, mantras, visualizations, all those exercises were uh, very often connected to this uh, central channel. Yeah, because this is how we can uh, restore this connection with the essence. Yeah, and uh, through this work, we can uh, uh, experience this. Uh, awareness, this essence by ourselves, ex, uh, have insights, have realizations. And uh, uh, then this becomes our own knowledge. Yeah, not just what we read, or what we hear from others, but what we actually feel and experience. Uh, we'll see deeper into those practices uh, on our next classes. Thank you very much.